So, you can't seem to close social media marketing clients. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna show you how to start closing. Let's go. Load up the chopper and ride on your enemies. Try. That's what you get. All right, guys, let's jump straight into today's video, which is why you can't close social media marketing clients. So guys, this is going to be the number one um, game changer, but it's also going to be the number one mistake that you are almost guaranteed going to make if you're not already making. Um, it's the most common mistake I see with digital marketers when they're trying to pitch and sell their services to potential clients. Um, so guys, before I get into uh, what this big mistake is, um, if you guys haven't picked up the free sales course that's in the description of this video, it's absolutely insane. It's packed with tons of tips and, and tricks that I personally use in my sales process. It's a three-part course, so if you haven't picked it up already, just fucking go get it. You're missing out big time. Um, so enough about that. Let's get into the big mistake. So when you are trying to get clients, what's the first thing you are thinking about? You're thinking about, okay, I'm going to approach this salon and I'm going to pitch them on Facebook ads. Right? So you are going into it with the mentality of, I am going to pitch this particular business owner a very particular service, right? whether it's Facebook ads or it's Google ads or it's whatever the service is, social media management, Instagram growth, whatever the fuck you're doing, um, it doesn't matter. You are going into it with the mentality and the mindset of, I'm pitching a service that's going to do X, Y, Z for them. right? Guys, that is the absolute worst way to go about doing it. Um, and honestly, this was how I was in the beginning when I was, you know, actively prospecting, which I still am, of course, but when I was trying to get clients, um, it was like, okay, I'm going to try to get this, uh, you know, business on Facebook ads. I'm going to try to sell them on Google ads, whatever it was. The problem is guys, a business owner does not care about Facebook ads. So let me rephrase. Obviously they care what you're actually going to do for them, right? If you're, if you're, going to be charging them money. They want to know what are you actually going to be doing, right? But on a primal level, in terms of the actual framework of this entire thing, what the business owner really, really cares about is what problem are you going to be solving for them? So this translates into do not sell a service, guys. Sell a solution to a problem. I'll say it again, do not sell a service, okay? Do not sell Facebook ads, do not sell Google ads, don't sell social media management, don't sell Instagram growth. Sell a solution to a problem. Solve a problem, relieve a pain point. The same way when you go to the doctor, technically they're selling medical services, right? But really what they're actually doing is trying to relieve specific pain points, which is why when you go to a doctor, they ask you, okay, what's the problem, right? Like what pain are you having? Is it a headache? Is it pain in your shoulder, your arm, your leg, your foot? Like what's going on here? It's the exact same concept, guys. The literally the exact same concept when you're trying to acquire clients for your digital marketing agency. Figure out where the pain point is figure out what the issue is. Let me give you an example. Make it a little easier to wrap your head around. Let's say you come across a business who's spending a shit ton of money on advertising. Let's say they're really, really dumping a bunch of money into Yelp ads, a very, very common um, thing in this uh, space, in this industry. And let's say uh, you, you're having a discussion with them, they're open to hearing what you have to say, you already got past the, you know, the gatekeepers and whatnot, and you're talking to the decision maker, and they're telling you that they're spending a shit ton of money on Yelp ads, but it's not, um, you know, they're not seeing any results from them. They're not doing, they're not bringing new clients or new leads or new, or new, generating new business for them. Guys, that is a huge, huge, huge pain point. And what you have to do when you find these pain points is almost like jump on them. Now, don't misinterpret that for trying to like, you know, go after them, like literally like say, Oh really? Like that's, that's a paint. Like, like, Oh, you're, you're not getting clients. Perfect. That's great. Well, I can show you how to do this instead. No, that's not what you want to do. You don't want to go about it that way. You've got to kind of log it in your mind as, okay, this is the pain point that I'm going to hit on. Um, and, and obviously there's a whole process you have to go through to actually do that. But you have to first, before you start trying to pitch or anything, 
figure out what the problem is, what's their pain point, and then you can get into, okay, now that I understand where they're having pain and what the problem is here, I can then figure out a solution to that problem based off of what they told me. But you can only get this information by figuring it out, right guys? So <clears throat> again, I see so many digital marketers out there that they're, you know, especially even like if they're calling a business and they're like, oh, what is it? Oh, it's, it's Facebook ads. Oh, we're already doing that. Or it's Google ads. Oh, we already got someone doing that. No, guys, you have to go about it in a totally different way. It's just, ha it's all, it's a shift in your mentality. It's a shift in your mindset. You're not trying to pitch a service, guys. I can't uh, emphasize this enough. It's not pitching a service. It is going in there and trying to solve a problem, trying to see if there's a pain point, if there even is one, right? Maybe there isn't a pain point. And in that case, on to the next one. That's it. That's how you have to be. But if there is a pain point, you've got to try to figure it out and, and really bring it out of them. Um, almost like peeling an onion, right? You really have to kind of get it out of them almost um, with the proper sales process in place. So, and then again, once again, from there you can uh, um, devise a plan to come up with a solution to that problem. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Once again, don't make this most the most common mistake because this mistake is what's going to hold you back from closing. I promise you, if you continue to pitch with the mindset of, I have this service that I think maybe could help this particular business, you will not close. Maybe you'll get one deal. Maybe you'll close one or two clients. But in terms of a scalable, repeatable sales process that you can continuously use and eventually show other people to use and that they can be successful with, it's not going to, it, going about it this way, pitching a service, it's not going to work. I promise you, you have to uh, change it to trying to find a problem that they have and, and coming up with a solution to that problem. So guys, uh, that is it for today. Once again, if you have not picked up the free sales course, it is right below this video in the description. It's the first, um, it's the first thing you'll see right in, in uh, the little description box. So go pick that up and start implementing the tips that I sh give you and show you in the course. And that's it for today, guys. And again, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell if you really, really want to see more content like this, which I know you do. So don't wait. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. And I will see you in the next video. I'm out. I was hella broken. I didn't have a dime. But I was always focused. I didn't waste no time. I ain't never calling my name. I used to